Boom to the hay, all you sports fans out there in the tubo sphere. To you, the individuals part of the collective. Welcome to Fast Track Sports Rack Highlights here on Talk Radio version of the OMSR. I am your brief but concise host, Will the Alternative ESPN Sports Thrill. Talk it briefly and concisely. Winter X. Yeah, I know they did away with the winter. You know, it's now X Games ubiquitously, no matter what time of year. But it wasn't always the case, so we're going old school here. Winter X Games. Aspen. Again in Aspen this year. Not sure why. And specifically, the snowmobile freestyle. Colton Moore getting the gold year after his brother passed away. Very fitting. But also, it just worked out that way. So, as a reminder, I always do a little bit of a show here. At least you can do is hear me out. You get a longer highlight reel that way. Talk great is only and always, always and only two to three minutes. It's my sponsor, the DMCA, that makes this happen. Digital Millennium Copyright Act. It covers a fair use standard, minimal use, and derivatives. So all the video highlights courtesy to X Games, ESPN, everything else, to the OMSR. Okay, so on the quickie sport rant of the segment. These events are totally cool in their entirety, but to show you, to try and show you, is not possible. All eight, you know, I, I start out showing you who made it into the finals, as it were, from the, the first the field, of, the first field, the run one of two. This is covering, you know, the second runs. It's just not possible. It came out to be 31 minutes. Uh, X Games that I covered, you know, two years ago. Now I'm saying it. Winter X Games that I covered from two years ago. I tried to bring that to you, but I understand, you know, not everybody has that kind of time. And also the mantra of the OMSR is trying to bring you the best two and three hour sporting events in only eight to twelve minutes. That's what I'm sticking to. That's the standard. Therefore, it's not possible to show you everything. I show you the runs from the medal winners. You'll enjoy. It's still long enough, as it were. <laughs> Never mind, I'm not going to go there. All right, thanks for watching. No silly DYs while you're out there. We'll clip. Freestyle, just check out this massive course built at the base of Buttermilk Mountain. One of Aspen's four fine mountains here. Eight ready-to-do competition here on the freestyle course tonight. And from what we've seen in practice, there are going to be some unbelievably massive runs. Let's take a look at the lineup, the eight who will go to challenge tonight for the first gold medal at X Games Aspen 2014, Chris. Yeah, we got Corey Davis. He's going to be our first rider out. We've got just such a strong field, a very experienced field. Um, my pick, though, I'm going to go with Colt Moore. I think he's going to be riding really good. Fortunately, really cannot show you them all. I'm excited to see what the rest of the field has done. Remember the Gator Hater from last so year. you heard Chris's pick is Moore. Well, the, uh, it's all up to you. Uh, he's got the tricks. He's done this a million times. And that was a great start. I really like that start. He looked shaky on his first round. Let's see if Heath Frisbee can throw down that metal contending run. Look at that hyper focus coming into the round there. So he's putting in these right side up tricks first. And the, the judges are looking for variety. That's why they want to see that you can do right side up, upside down. You can move the sled around. This is where it all went wrong in the first round. And almost, I, he had talked about doing it in wonderful That was kind of a corked down flip. Now, wow. All right. Switchblade backflip. That, that one was amazing. That was a switchblade backflip. This is so much better than the first round. He's charging the course here. Can't emphasize enough how much advantage it is to get that extra hit for the bonus score. Second round. And uh, I, look at the size of that flip. Wow. That's, 
I mean, that's a switchblade back hook, but almost kind of like almost Joe like Parsons was getting to wrestling. Wow. Ooh. Those are the tricks I like to see from Heath Frisbee. So let's look at this. He's going for the tsunami. On. You can tell he's feeling something is wrong. And he's like, you know what? Let's just get back to the slam. Yep. So should it prove that seventh place? But will it put him in metal contention? <laughs> fans and they are very well entertained and happy fans I can guarantee you that this has been fantastic competition and Frisbee gets himself into the medals now the question can Parsons knock Jack Rowe out of his first X Games medal this is a position that Joe is unfamiliar with Joe is normally rock solid on that first run for Joe right now. I don't like the pressure of the second run. I'm hoping he can put it together. And, uh, and he looked so happy before his first run. He was dancing around. I was like, oh, he's feeling kind of loose. So here we go. Parsons. Good smooth first jump. Sediment. Sediment to the second. Gator run started. But again, the Gator Rasley didn't get all of that. Not as big as we've certainly seen him pull them. So far, though, it's a better start. A little hesitation there, but still good extension. That jump is so big, you can even head it. It's so much air time, yeah. and, and he's still able to extend that. And the difference of, you know, that, that 30 feet in distance ramps for most of the guys are using. Came up a little short there on the Cordova flip. And we're being very, very critical here of an absolutely unbelievable rider. Again, the most snowmobile medals in X Games history. That's this guy here, we know he's good. We know he can get on that podium. And out of the last six years, he's been on the podium five times. What does he need to do in the last Whoa, 20 nice. seconds? He has first to and take one more. Spot in the top. Well, the first part of Joe's run has just been really loose. He hasn't been dialing in his landing, which Joe is known for. He needs to pull a huge trick on this last hit off, off the 100-footer. Oh. Nice! Oh. He knew he was nose high. I think he wanted to run solid on that one where he would take the hands off. Not the accent Joe wanted. Now the question is, a good run. Was it enough? to get him in to the medals. Well, I know what it did do. That run just secured. Do you think, we're, do you think it's hashtag more gold? It's more gold, for sure. And Colton knows it right there. Joe looks a little bit disappointed as he walks away from his sled. We're going to wait for this core. And Joe's just disappointed. He knows he can put in a, a better run than that. Oh, come on. I mean, it wasn't so bad, right? Just not the extension or the landing. Came, landed high up on the landing. It was short. It was tight. I mean, there was just, there was a lot wrong with that. Oh, look at that. He's going to take the silver. Rogue gets dropped out. And look, people, this is what redemption looks like. Colton Moore takes gold at Aspen. He is riding for his brother, Caleb. And there is no one happier than that man you were looking at. He already had a freestyle gold. Great for Colton. And I know someone else is excited. He's down with Jamie Little right now. Jamie, who you got? Wade the Dad. Standing here with tears in your eyes, Wade, as you watch your son. You've been through both ends of the spectrum. The unfathomable last year with Caleb. And now you guys just struck gold again. What does this medal mean for this family? More than I can say. Watch your son get back on and come back to X Games to
compete once again. It's tough. It's a lot harder to watch this year. But his confidence is went up. He just gets better and better and better. He just wanted to ride. He just wants to ride. That's what he likes doing. He has fun doing it. That's what him and his brother did. They're still doing it together. Focus. Still got to focus. Congratulations to you. Go celebrate with your son. I, and you can't say enough about the Moore family and how they all held together and come together with their entire community this past year. A year ago, we lost Caleb Moore, and Colton Moore ended up in the hospital. But tonight, Colton Moore takes gold. Congratulations, Colton. You you dug deep, and a lot of people are here to celebrate with you.